Hello everyone. So today we're going to be making green juice with a blender. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really simple, really easy, and it's just a couple of steps, guys. So I'm just filling up a little bucket, plastic, whatever you call it, of water. And then I'm going to take some vinegar and I'm going to pour that into the water and this is going to you know really clean my fruits and actually no just the veggies I did I'm just gonna clean the veggies because um, these I just picked up I usually go to Whole Foods but um, I just stopped by my local Korean market the other day and I picked up these and they aren't organic and that's just kind of like not even a good thing to say anyway that because they're organic that you shouldn't wash your fruits but you know what I mean they're grown conventionally which means they're grown a bit a little bit differently so of course that you you have pesticides or any chemicals you know that are on the veggies I try to you know just really wash them thoroughly even though I wash my veggies anyway whether it's organic or conventional all right so I'm just gonna let that sit there for about a good 10-15 minutes while I go ahead and start on the you know just to cut up the other um, stuff that I'm going to be blending up as well like some apples ginger and lemons so that's just what I'm doing right here Okay, so when you are using the blender, you always want to, you know, put some kind of liquid into the blender. So I am going to be putting this Foco coconut water in, in here as my base today. And then I'm going to put the spinach and also the kale into the blender at first because I'm making a f I want this batch to, of bl of mix to be um to um a good enough serving for me I am just adding little of bits of pieces first and then I'm going to blend them up and then you I'll come back and show you you'll see that I added more after so I'm just cutting up the coke um sorry the cucumbers put some cucumbers some of the apples the ginger of course in there everything with the skin and then I'm just going to blend it up and I'm going to be right back okay so here it is all blended and of course that's not everything so um, I'm just going to add some more of the cucumbers and also the celery. I'm going to add two lemons, freshly squeezed lemons, into the blender. I love lemons. I drink lemon water a lot. It's really, really a good detoxifier, detoxes the liver, the body. So I have to put some lemons in there. <laughs> it's a must. Now it is time to blend up everything and we're ready to go. <laughs> I blended it for about a good two minutes because I really wanted everything to be blended. This is not the best blender out there. So that's just my preference. So now there it is. We have a green smoothie, but we do want a juice. So I'm just going to rinse out that same bucket and I'm going to take a strainer that I got from the 99 cent store and I'm just going to start to pour the smoothie over into this strainer. And as you can see, there is juice coming out. Voila. <laughs> now that is not the end, guys, because if we was to do this, it'll take forever, okay? Forever. I'm just going to take a spoon and just kind of push it down to get some of the juice out. 
and I pretty much just went back and forth with that for a few just until ev I poured made sure that I poured everything that was in the blender into the strainer and then I used a spoon to kind of squeeze everything out until you could see the blender was absolutely empty so I just pretty much repeat that process just to kind of you know get that out the way now this is what you need you guys I have this sunbeam cheesecloth it is just a cotton cloth and it's basically like a strainer I got this from this random place and it's kind of not that easy to find I went to home home goods and also went to Target I could not find it so I'm just going to rinse it out and I'm gonna be very very careful you guys whenever you're trying to do this I'm just taking my time putting it over that little bucket there because remember you don't want any pulp to get back into your juice okay so you have to be absolutely careful and as you see I just poured everything into onto the cloth and now I'm just raising it up gently and just proceed to squeeze and all that juice is going to come out voila how dope is that like you could save so much money if you don't even have a juicer well you're watching this video because you don't have a juicer <laughs> but you know you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars or you know a hundred dollars or whatever how much juices cost I don't know but you don't have to spend an arm and a leg for a juicer when you can just do this you know what I mean it is a little bit you know takes a little bit more time but it's not crazy so yeah and there you go so pretty much that is just the f there's some fibers in that but hey sometimes I like to, to juice sometimes I like to make a smoothie there you go so I'm just gonna take this glass container and this little thing here because I want to pour it into the glass and save it for later and I absolutely don't want anything to spill so I'm going to let it chill in the freezer for me from me until later and it's gonna be nice and chilled nice cool little drink for me and yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you all enjoyed this video and you learned something if you did comment down below and let me know your thoughts and I'm just gonna pour me one right now cuz listen honey <laughs> I need me some <laughs> it was so delicious yay easy right see you next time guys take care Mm-hmm. <laughs>